Hi guys, welcome back. It's Ben here at Connected Fitness. Great to have you joining us and thank you so much for your participation so far in our abs challenge last week. This week we're going to do something completely different. It's called plyometrics or jump training and it's designed to work on explosive movement and also your own speed as well as being a great cardio workout and fat burner. As per usual we start off with a nice easy set and over the sessions we'll be making them more and more difficult. You don't need any equipment whatsoever so just join me on the floor, create a little bit of space for yourself and let's get started. Alright guys, hopefully you've completed set number one, this one's number two. So we're moving up in the difficulty just a little bit, eight more exercises for you here, the same timer as always, 40 seconds on with a 15 second rest. So we're starting off with a nice easy one to begin with as the timer goes on, we're going to do crossover knee kicks. So the knee comes up and out to the side, you're just taking that step and the step comes over just as a bit of a warm up, keeping the knees up nice and high. Make sure that we're crossing right over across the body. If you want to move the elbow just to the outside, just to make that a little bit harder, and we should be able to feel the tuck coming right through the top of the belly button. See how we're making the step nice and wide? So I've got a meter sized tile on the floor here, and I'm just making a one meter step just across the tile from side to side. 10 seconds to go, and that'll be the end of exercise number one. As we stretch up, try to get the knee up above the waist on every step. Good job, take a wee short break, 15 seconds on, and the next one that's coming up is going to be our standard squat. Now we did this the last time, we're going to do it again, and then we've got some variations to come. So, as we go down, three, two, one, timer comes on, bum goes back, hands come out in front for balance, and we're keeping the knees nice and firmly in behind the toes. As you glance down, you should be able to see those knees nice and tightly in behind on each step. So you come down, and up. Bring the hands backwards as you come up and out of the squat. Just helps with the stability, keeps the chest nice and high, keep the chin up, always look forwards. 10 seconds to go. Try to work on your depth on these, bringing the bum down right as low as the knees. We're trying to form a right angle on the center of the leg. Well done. Three, two, one, and timer's off. Next one coming up is going to be our squat to tiptoe. I think we did this one the last time as well. So as the timer goes on, we're going to come down into that squat, but then we're going to come right up and up onto the tiptoes to finish, okay? I'll show you from the front to begin with. Here we go. Join in with me as soon as you can. We're coming forwards on each step. So we get that little explosion out of the bottom, right the way to the top. From here, right the way forwards. So we're going from the bottom, all the way up. As your timer gets to halfway, I'm just going to flip to the side, let you have a little look at that one from the side. You're coming back, and then forwards. See how the hands come forwards, chest stays nice and high, chin stays up, knees in the right angle, and as you come forwards, we just push in those hips up and right up onto the tiptoes. And relax, good job. All right, exercise number four is going to be a lunge on the left side. So I'll show you from the side to begin with. With our lunge, what we're doing is we're bringing the left foot forwards. We're coming down, trying to create two right angles. So the right angle here in the knee and the same on the other side. And then we're trying to make one big step all the way back and bringing the two feet together onto the floor, like so. So you come forwards, down into that lunge and up. Now we're trying to come right down onto the ground, but no touch, okay? So we don't want to see that knee touching the ground. As you come forward, and as you work on it, you might feel slightly more confident. You can make a slightly bigger step forwards. You start to see that knee extending further than the right angle, and the hand just come up for stability. We are trying to do it without putting the hands down onto the ground, and also without bringing the knee down onto the ground on this side. All right, well done, good job. Take a short break, grab your thoughts, bring that air into the lungs, and then we're going to do that again, but this time on the right side. So this time the right foot's making the step forwards. I'll show you from the side to begin with. I'll show you from the front in a second. Right foot comes forwards, all the way down, and then back into one big step up onto the two feet together. So 
So we do want to try and avoid this sort of thing, where the foot creeps forwards. Try and make a nice deliberate step, and all the way back. We're trying not to bring the knee to the floor, okay? So it comes down really close, but we don't want to feel the touch on the ground. Two right angles, as you get more confident. Slightly bigger step, try to feel the stretch coming on the top of the leg, and also through the top of the quad on this side as well. Show you one from the front before our timer runs out, so you can get a little feel for it as you come forward to here. All right, well done, good job. That's five exercises done. Exercise number six is a pendulum lunge, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come with a full extension. Left foot's gonna plant on the ground. Timer is going to go on, and we start with a big step back first, and then you're coming up and all the way through, right the way through to the, the lunge to the front. All the way back, lunge at the back, all the way up and through, lunge at the front. So we say this is on the left side, it's the left foot that's connected to the floor. See how my foot doesn't move? Stays connected to the floor right the way through. Let me show you that from the front. So we're going back first. And then the big step comes up and forwards and all the way back. And we're trying to avoid any step in the middle. All right? So the foot comes up, plants, right down, and back, and plant on the ground. Well done, timer's off. And we go again, this time just on the right side, okay? So right foot's gonna plant in the center of our, our frame. We're gonna take a step back and then all the way forwards. Pendulum lunge on the right side. This one's exercise seven, only one to go after this. Timer goes on. Foot comes back, all the way up, and forwards. And then all the way back, no touch on the ground, all the way back. All right. So you should be able to feel a little bit of the work starting to go through. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Subscriptions make a huge difference to us. If you can hit subscribe just below the video, if you've enjoyed what you see. This one is session uh, number, number two of our plyometrics training. I think there's seven all together. So, as the timer comes to a close on this one, we've only got one exercise to go. Three, two, and one, relax. Good job, that's the pendulum lunge on your right side. So, finally, the trickiest one, and what we're moving towards, plyometrics is jump training. So, what we're gonna try is a plyo lunge, all right? As I put the timer on, I'm gonna show you this one. We're gonna come down in that lunge position from here, and then the plyo move, is to try and jump those legs without coming up out of the lunge position, all right? Try to keep it as steady as you can, and those feet spot to change, and as you snap that change, we're trying not to come up and down, all right? It's just a quick movement of the feet, body line stays flat. All right, so that's your plyo lunge, 15 seconds to go, as I show you a few more of those. All right, as you get tired, you're gonna feel that lunge, getting progressively more difficult and probably starting to creep higher and higher and higher. Time for one more, and that's you. So from this point guys, we're gonna give you a one minute water break. If this is the end of your first set, then what we would advise you to do is to go back to the start of the video and let's have another go through that rotation. You're aiming for up to four sets in total, which will make for a really, really good core workout. Thank you very much for joining us if you've got to the end of the training and uh, good luck. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you again next time.